I'm getting the VI peel done at Complexion Clinic. And I'm walking there now. I turned the brightness down so you guys can see. Just hyperpigmentation, large pores. So yeah. Tell me why you're here today. Why do you want a chemical peel and why is it the VI peel? And I've seen that the reason why some of the people go in is the same things kind of that I'm having an issue with. So which is hyperpigmentation, like my acne scars, I guess you would say. And I've had these forever. I also had a crazy rash breakout, so I got um, some hyperpigmentation around my lap lines. And my lap lines, that's a new thing that also is here now, which sucks. So yeah, my lap lines now, the darkness, um, and then I have a lot enlarged pores as well. Reducing how much you're doing to your skin. So that's inflammation. Okay. Inflam that's that is saying. inflammation. It isn't just about the cleanser, it's about the moisturizer, and it's about the fact that you're not doing so much to your skin anymore. You need to sign a waiver. Everybody has to sign a waiver, okay. and if your practitioner does not have you sign a waiver. Um, run. Run, <laughs> you really should run. So we're gonna wash the face and we end up stripping the skin. We wanna make the skin as dry as we can because that's how the chemicals adhere. Okay. <laughs> take an alcohol pad on your face okay so please just hold your breath when I tell you to okay here we go you're going to begin it's gonna be uncomfortable at first it's gonna be hot and then you will notice that there's a little lidocaine and that will start to go into effect probably on the second round start to focus on these areas that you are less happy with. Okay. She got done probably about 20 minutes ago. So my skin is like glossy, but then also it's browner than usual, like darker. As you can see all this, I'm like reddish brown. So she gave me the little package that you get for the VI peel. This is the VI Derm SPF 50 Sun Cream. And then also I have the VI Derm Post Peel Protectant and it's an anti-itch cream. In four hours, I'm supposed to go in with the, po the first post peel towelette, which is also in here. You get three post peel towelettes two little little ass tubes of cleanser little ass like what is this baby nut thing i can already see the skin kind of tightening if you can see that there all around this area and my pores you guys i literally have potholes and then my hyperpigmentation laugh lines etc um yeah so that's what it looks like close up this is the area that i feel a little bit of like warmth so it's probably because I had a little bit of irritation right here. So I have three of the VI Peel Post Peel Towelettes and actually on the back it says that for ingredients it's retinoic acid, vitamin C. Oh, it's strong. Ugh. It doesn't... <gasps> My melanin. Oh. I'm trying to make sure I get every area that it was applied because I want this to work as best as possible. Because girl, this was not cheap for one treatment. This was not cheap at all. You guys saw, but you can't do any physical activity. What? Like you can't sweat. I don't know what that means for my sex life. I turned the exposure down, but this is just to show you texture. Looks awful with the low exposure. But yeah, so that's what we're working with. It is a lot darker and it looks so much worse here, but this side, this is what we're working with. 
Now step three says for darker skin tones, apply the post peel protectant 10 minutes after the first towelette has been applied. It is currently day three. My hair looks a mess. As you can see, I'm peeling quite a bit and it looks like I have a flesh eating bacteria. The dark spots are still darker. Of course, they have to peel and we've got a lot of peeling going on here. It's purple because I had to put on the post peel protectant and then the sunscreen. The area that I'm really excited about and that I'm just kind of nervous to see is my laugh line area. I'm hoping some of the hyperpigmentation has decreased, but this is where we are. Day three, and it is currently 11.40 a.m. So honestly, it might be a huge difference by tonight before I even wash my face. So I'll show you guys if there is, but this is me in all my glory. Now, 5 p.m., same day, this is day three. At this point, I'm over this peeling thing. It like, it doesn't itch a lot, but it like. Eric's here, let's see what he thinks. <laughs> All right, today is day four and it is currently 11 p.m. I'm so ready for this process to be over. This is peeling, I'm peeling here, here, and it's just itchy and I don't like it. All right, so I just finished washing my face. It's really tight around this area. Got a lot more going on here, it's itching. So I'm gonna put the anti-itch cream on. This part's always so difficult, like washing it and then putting stuff on. It's just weird with the loose skin. And then I just tap. And it does burn. Yeah, I don't know about this process, you guys. I don't think I can do it another time. It's just as like tedious. And I don't know if some of it got on my lips, but it's like, <laughs> ah. Everything's in shambles right now. Look at this mess. Sunday, it is 4 p.m. Like this eye is irritated. There were some dark areas that I was really worried about and I was just saying that they hadn't peeled yet. So they pretty much peeled. I still have a little bit more right here to go. But can I just say that the fresh skin is looking amazing? This is where we're at. So this side, ooh, <laughs> yeah. You guys, I'm so over this. My laugh lines are almost non-existent. When I was actually looking at these videos, not a lot of people showed them like washing their face with the dead skin. I don't know if that would be helpful, but I'm gonna show it. So I've got the cleanser and the anti-inch cream on deck. The way that I actually moisten the skin to cleanse it is I kind of just like pat with wet hands. I normally wouldn't do this with a shirt on, but so yeah, just pat, pat, pat. Oh, and I also actually tried to do this in the shower. I'm gonna be honest. It's so much easier, um, especially not being able to, not having to see your face and see the skin like coming off. It's a lot easier that way, in my opinion. So I kind of like try to get any of the dead skin looser, no scrubbing, nothing like that but I try to get it looser just by like patting in water because that loosens the skin up. I try not to go in the opposite direction of the skin that's peeling. I also get my face extremely dry before I put on 
the post peel protectant because I found that it burns less. What's up you guys? It is day six and things are great. I'm feeling a lot better. All of the skin on my face has pretty much peeled off. Um, I just have a little bit on my hairline as you can see there and on my neck there's like this interesting line of demarcation. I have tons of sunscreen on my face right now so it's like gray and like chalky in these areas but the thing that is just the holy grail that has really made a difference for me is the texture of my skin. So I lightened up all in this area, but the texture, it's so smooth, it's just silky, it feels like new baby skin, which it is. I don't have clogged pores, like everything's just amazing. And of course, it's kind of premature because it's right after all of the skin peeled. This morning is when I got all of the extra skin off. I'm extremely happy with the hyperpigmentation. I'm extremely happy with the progress of my dark marks on my cheeks. And I was never really concerned about that really, but it's nice that they lightened up. <laughs> you guys my skin today is the eighth day I totally forgot yesterday by the time I thought about it again it was too dark out I feel like my hyperpigmentation around my lap lines has decreased now that I'm looking at it it's definitely like 60 to 70 percent my skin has so much more elasticity it's soft it's smooth it's moisturized it looks amazing all right so the exposure is down The hyperpigmentation here was just so, for me it was just like too dark. And now it's just like barely there. And this is with the exposure down, so. Everything's smoother. My pores here, I don't know if you guys remember what they look like, but they have decreased significantly. You see that there's not really those creases in the laugh line. So yeah, my conclusion with this is basically that I had a lot of inflammation before I did the peel. And that's something Jamie told me, but I didn't really know what she was talking about. And I was looking at my skin, I'm like, I don't see any inflammation. But now that I see my face after the peel, I can definitely tell that there was some inflammation in this area, especially where my pores were enlarged definitely in this area where I would get like tons of breakouts um, and then in this area as well. There was just a lot going on. My pores were clogged and all of that. But yeah, my results are amazing. I highly recommend the VI peel, but I definitely think it's like a last step type of thing. It's not just like, oh, just run and go get it. For me, where I live in Seattle, Washington, it was $260, but I definitely learned that I've been way too harsh on my skin. I like to shower in like really, really hot water, but I would wash my face in that same water. So I realized that the skin on my body and the skin on my face are completely different, which I knew before, but this really taught me that. It also taught me to be very gentle on my skin when I'm washing my skin, not to pick it. I feel way more confident with my natural skin going out with just this so yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions or anything leave it down in the comments section i will see you guys in my next video bye switch blade i'm cutting through these haters i'm stunting i'm sauteing i don't know what y'all saying bro wait